Hi, welcome to another game with Right Start Mathematics. Today's game is going to be Super Corners, which is another new game from Dr. Joan A. Cotter. I'm your host. I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. So the objective of this new game, Super Corners, is to provide practice with addition, just like the regular Corners game, and multiplication. What? Multiplication? Yes, multiplication. So we're going to need our corner cards, which we're pretty familiar with, and we need one player. So this is a single person game. The object of the game is to have the highest score. With our layout, we need the deck of cards face down, and then we pick five cards and lay them face up. When we play a card, we pick another card. So we always have five face up cards to choose from. Now the play is a little bit different. It's, we're gonna still match colors like we do with the traditional corners game. Our sums must equal multiples of five, which means they need to equal five, 10, 15, or 20, but there's no scoreless matching. If you remember from a regular corners game, you can match one and one, two and two. You get no points for it, but it's a valid play. Not in this case. So there's no scoreless matching. And cards can be played without regard for where the last card played was. So that's going to be a little bit different. Our scoring is where things become different with this game. Cards played with one side touching, the score is that sum, which is what we normally have with a corners game. But now here's where it gets different. Cards placed with two sides touching, which we call a corner, is the sum times two. So corners have a lot more value. So what do you think happens when we have three sides touching? We call it a bay and it's the sums times three. So we can see how the scoring is gonna become very important here. So cards played with four sides touching, which we call a window, you get your score times four. So we want to do as many corners, bays and windows as possible. So let me show you how to play this game. Here are my corner cards and let's lay these right here. I'm gonna grab five cards. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got my five cards laid out. Now, I sometimes I see people laying them out with some of them being upside down. I personally find this very confusing. I like to have them all going the same way. It makes it easier for me to scan them. So remember, we're gonna match colors. So green's gonna match green, black's gonna match black, blue is gonna match blue. And when they touch, they need to add up to five, 10, 15, or 20. So looking at my greens, ooh, I've got 10 and 10 make 20. That's about as good as it gets. Well, I'm gonna put these two out. So I'm gonna put them like this. So there I've got my first ones. I'm gonna write my score down. I have 20 points. Okay, now I need to get two more cards. Again, I'm gonna turn them to me the proper way around. You do it however, whatever works for you. And I can add on to any of these six places. It doesn't matter which is considered the last card. So I could do here two and eight. I've got another eight here. I could do two and three. Well, again, I want maximum points. So I'd rather do the eight, so that's a possibility. Three and seven, seven and eight. Oh, that's gonna be 15 points. Let's do that because that also creates a corner. So now I have another 15 points. I'm gonna add it up. I'm not just gonna write 15 equals and then draw the line. I can mentally add this to 35 points, okay? All right, so let me get another card. Get another card here. And again, I can add them any of these places. But remember, if I do a corner, I'm going to be getting my score times two. Well, that's a good deal. Well, let's go check it out real quick and see if I have something to fit in this corner. So two needs what? Three to make five or an eight to make 10. Oh, look at this. I have a three, but no eight. Oh, and look at this. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize I'd get this right away. Look at this. So here I get five points and do my blues match? They do. I've got a nine. Nine has a line. Six does not. So here I actually get, this is funny, this happens right away. I get five points 
and 15. So I have 20 points times two because it's a corner. So 20 times two is 40. And I'm going to add 40 to my points. So 35 and 40 is 75. All right, let's keep going. New card. Again, I can add it anywhere on here. Um, seven and three. Let's see here. Because of course I want the highest score. Oh, look at this. I can do 15. So I'm going to do that. Write my score. So add another 15 on here. So 75 and 15. So 75 and 10 is 85. And then five more is 90. Okay. Have another corner. Get my extra card. Can I do this corner? Boy, wouldn't that be awesome? Now look at this. Let's see here. Look at this. I can do six and four make 10, but six and two do not. So I can't do that one. Let's see if I have another one. I don't. I have nothing else that's going to fit with this six as I scan down here. So let's try somewhere else. Because remember, I want to make as many corners as possible. So what if I put something up here? So I've got a, here we go, eight and two. So this gives me 10 points. So I'm going to put 10. So now my score is 100. Extra card. Oops, right side up. Let's see. Where can I put, let's see, I have nothing that, do anything that fits here? No. Do I have anything that fits here? A one and four. One and four fit. I know it's kind of coming off your camera there. One and four fit, but six and two do not. So I can't do that. So where else can I put a card? How about if I put one, let's see, nothing there. How about the four? Here we go. Four and six. I have 10 more points. So I have 110 now. Okay. Extra card. And now I've got a new corner. So let's go check corners. Do I have anything that fits here? No. Anything that fits here? No. How about this is a nine? Nothing. So no corners. I could do, let's do seven and three right here because now I've created another corner and I got myself 10 points. So 10 points, I'm at 120 now. Extra card. There we go, extra card. And let's see, what can I do? Do I have anything that fits here? No, anything that fits here? I've got the nine, the two, but two and two is a scoreless match, so we can't do that. Let's check over here. This is a nine, and I have a nine and a six. Oh, look at this, I got another corner. Nine and six is 15, six and four is 10. So I just got 15 and 10, so 25 points times two, 25 times two is 50. I'm gonna add 50 to my, I had 120 plus 50, 170. By the way, notice as I'm doing this, look at my mental math that I'm doing as I'm continuing to score this. All right, next card. Let's see if I can put something maybe here. It'd be fun if I could create a bay. Here, let's do this. Seven and three. So that gives me 10 points. So now I'm at 180. Okay, I take another card. Let's see, what can I do? Well, now I definitely want to see if I can fill this guy. Let's see here. Nothing there. Nothing's going to match the five. The one, I have nothing. Let's look at my seven here. I have seven, three. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Seven, three is 10. This makes 15. So I have 25 points times two. So 25 times two is 50. 180 plus 50 is going to be 230. Look at my score. Next card. All right, let's see here. We've got a four, nothing down here. A one, I've got a nine. Oh, look at this. This would fit. But let's keep looking just on the off chance we can get something. So that that's a possibility. Um, Let's look at this one, six, two. Oh my goodness, look at this. I can do a bay. 
So now I could have done this here, and this would have gotten me 10 and 5, 15 points times 2 is 30. But I'm going to take the same card, look at this, and put it right in here. I have 15 and 10, which is 20, plus another 15. So I have 35. 35 times 3 is 105. I can add 105 to my score. So that's going to be 335. Wow. Next card. Turn it right side up there. Next card. And again, I can put them anywhere I want. Let's see if I can fill this one here. I still can't. How about here? I'm looking at the, the black four. Four. I don't have anything. So I'm going to start to put it somewhere on the side. I'm going to try to create as many corners as I can. So if I do four here, I can do four and six. This gives me 10 points. And now I have 345. So what did you guys think of that game? That is really, really fun. And look at the mental math that we were doing, both with our addition and our multiplication, and then adding again with our scores. Now, we also have an app for this game, Super Corners. This is really fun. It doesn't encourage as much mental math, but it's still a really, really fun game. Matter of fact, I find it so addicting that I only allow myself to play it in certain situations because otherwise I play it all the time. I hope you enjoyed this game of Corny Corners. Remember to like us and subscribe so you can see the next games that are coming out. Take care, have a wonderful day, and enjoy this new game. Bye-bye.